What you're about to see is Tucker exposing a woman for being in the country illegally, and then her response is priceless. My only point is that what you're seeing today is not an expression of white supremacy, so I wish you and your friends would stop making that point because it's a lie and it's divisive. That's my only point. And because it, it's not true and it, it makes people hate each other. Do you understand what I, plan, I'm saying? It is a plan that makes it is a plan that would potentially make two million people who are mostly people of color have less rights than white citizens. So that is oh. racist. OK, so it's racist. I, to, I, so you a, sneak, you I come in the a, country illegally as you did. You have a moral right to well, let your first relatives of all, I come did not too? come into the country illegally. Let's get the facts straight. I came to the U.S. on a plane on a tourist visa. So I did not come into this country. Oh, illegally. I thought that you overstay. I'm sorry. I totally misunderstood your bio. I, thought I did overstay were- my visa, but oh, I did you not did. come oh. into the country illegally. Oh, you were here illegally. OK, so I guess that's what I just said. But my and the point other is, point that you're missing if you here are is here that illegally, a two-year-old you- cannot break the law. It was their the parents, parents who brought them to this country. The parents not, who brought them no to this country. Of their own. Right. So you're saying that the parents who brought them to this country now have a moral right to become citizens also. And I'm wondering where that right comes from. Listen, if if I a simple become, question. I am now a U.S. citizen, and if I want my mother to be able simple. to come visit me and to be able to come be with me as a United States citizen, I should have that right. You have hold that on, right, hold on. right? No, if no, you had a mother so, 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 so lived in a different country, if, if, you would be able to sponsor so her. So you sneak into the country, you bring your child, that child gets citizenship, and now you have a right to citizenship because you're the one who caused this problem, that parent, in the first place by bringing again, your child here illegally, back, but I, I have to, to as a citizen, give you citizenship? Segment. How does that work exactly? No, but why should I be for that? Going back to the point I was making at the beginning of the segment, which How is about the reason we are in this situation is because the president ended DACA and then he tasked Congress no, 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 with I coming know. up with a solution you wanna, you to fix You want to have that debate, but problem. let's talk about t- but look, now actually, we are now you're not we're answering my question. That dreamer lives should pay well, you don't for a an billion answer. dollar No, no. Wall. So you're saying if I sneak into someone else's country and bring my child and the people of that country are kind enough to give that child citizenship, that I somehow deserve it too? Because why? Why? That's a simple question. Why don't you give me a simple answer? I'm going to tell you why. The reason why is because if these people become United States citizens, as they would under this plan, they should have the rights of as every other American citizen has. Why okay. should this person, if we're making them citizens, why because should they have less Because you came rights? illegally, so that citizen, that's why, that and we don't want to reward on the that table, behavior. Then they should have the same rights as every other United States citizen. Let me ask that's you really, re- really quick. So the ACLU s- uh, described this as the supposed generosity of giving citizenship to people who are here illegally. Do you think it's generous of the United States to give citizenship to people who came here illegally? Do you think it's generous? I think that we are we are trying to talk about two different things. Right? No, we're trying, trying to talk about. This I'm asking not, you a simple uh, question. Do you not, think it's generous to give people who are here illegally citizenship? I don't think that it's generous to oh, separate families and okay. create second class citizens. No, I, I don't. I don't know why don't we would bring in people who are not grateful separated. for the privilege of being an American citizen. You're definitely in that category too. But Julissa, by the way, thank you. okay, we're out of time. Thank. You. Oh, poor Tucker. Every time I watch this man, it's like he can never get his questions answered. He asks it very straightforward. I, it's understandable to me, but these people, it goes way over their head. They want to change the subject. And he killed this one. He killed it right here. And especially on that that last part, what did he say? He said something about you're definitely in that category. And I love Tucker Carlson. I absolutely love the man. Respect him. And thank you, Fox News, for highlighting and shining an example of, on ingratitude at its finest. Y'all, what is so hard about understanding the word illegal? Like, it doesn't fit within the parameters of the law. And she keeps trying to, it's hilarious that she keeps trying to pretend like overstaying your visa isn't stepping outside of that, isn't taking advantage of the system. You got a, a child that, you know, two years old, one years old, six months, whatever, they become a citizen, but you brought them in here. You don't deserve to be a citizen. All you got to do is go through the, the regular steps to become a citizen of the United States. And I know it's probably not the easiest thing in the world because we got people that take advantage of crossing that border, bringing drugs, raping our women, crime rates, taking advantage of our tax dollars, not following the, the guidelines that we have set in place. It's, it's very clear clear but why we have laws it's for people to follow them to set up a better society now why i wonder why she didn't go to places like china or russia or venezuela why do you think she didn't illegally go over there
give me everything I feel entitled to or you're a racist. That's usually how it goes. And that's it just is a convenient argument. They always try to make it seem like white people are bad or people that don't agree with people breaking the law is bad. But it's not. It's just following simple guidelines. It's keeping the people that were born here, that are from here, that, you know, just go out to work hard every single day, take care of their loved ones. It's to keep them safe and to keep some sort of structure. I know people don't like structure. They don't like truth. They think it's relative. They, they try to say God is dead in today's world. And that's why we see this case chaos trying to ensue. But that's why we have to have these laws in place and we have to execute and keep them in place or else things are going to go wild. And the United States is not going to be what it always has been. And that's a, a beautiful country. That's a powerful country. That's a country that has common sense and decency, or at least used to. And we have to keep something in place to make that still a possible thing for our future children and generations to come. Under section 1325 and title eight, I had to get the facts for y'all. Section 1325, title eight of the United States code, improper entry of alien provides for a fine, imprisonment, or both for any non-citizen who enters or attempts to enter the United States at any time or place other than as designated by immigration agents or eludes examination or inspection by immigration agents or a attempts to enter or obtains entry to the United States by a willfully false or misleading representation or the willful concealment of a material fact. So to me, that means that you overstayed your visa. You tried to take advantage and, and pull one over on the United States. Therefore, you are illegal at this current moment in time. And then you had the nerve to go on national television with Tucker Carlson, one of the, the best commentators out there, in my opinion, and <laughs> you aired out that fact. Like, how goofy do you have to be? But this is the point in the video where I got to dish out some biblical soul food for y'all to digest. And I wouldn't be doing my job as a servant of the kingdom if I didn't share some scripture, if I didn't take it to the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. Because I say all these things about law, but it says so biblically. And if you don't believe me, let's take it over to Romans 13 verses one and two. I'm reading the ESV version. Some of y'all may read King James, NIV, whatever you read, whatever resonates with you as the word of God, that's on you. But I'm reading the English standard version. So submission to the authorities. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except from God and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed and those who resist will incur judgment. Authority, you know, a, a something that's in place to establish some sort of rules, some sort of uh, passages to follow and, and stick in place so the world doesn't go nuts, so everybody doesn't start killing everybody and, and taking over everything you got. That's why we have laws. Those were instituted by God. And then 1 Timothy 1 verses 8 through 11 says, Now we know that the law is good. And if one uses it lawfully, understanding this, that the law is not laid down for the just, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and sinners, for the unholy and profane, for those who strike their fathers and mothers, for murderers and sexually immoral, men who practice homosexuality, enslavers, liars, perjurers, and whatever else is contrary to sound doctrine in accordance with the gospel of the glory of the blessed God with which I have been entrusted. So if you're breaking the law, which you are if you're an illegal immigrant, and a lot of the times we've, we've allowed that, we've been generous to, to let people come over here. You see what people do when they bring this fentanyl over the borders. You see what they do when they, they come over here, crime rates go up, they take advantage of our tax dollars, they take advantage of our hard-earned money all you got to do is go through the steps that are in place to become a citizen. But the criminals don't do that. Criminals don't follow laws. You can have whichever one in place that you want to. That, that's not going to make a criminal. Go, oh, they put this new gun law in place. I think I'm going to go register this thing that I stole or I attained illegally somehow by some way. I'm, I got these drugs in my pocket. I'm distributing. I'm taking. I'm pushing it on onto kids and all of that. I think I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go tell the police about it. You know, uh, uh, people can't find the, the truth. People hide from God and what actual truth is the same way a thief and a criminal hides from the police. They don't want to have to face that judgment. They don't want to have to, to face the fact that they're a sinner, that they're, they're breaking all the rules that God has established. That's what it is. And people hate that. People hate that they, they're not in control of everything. They can't do everything they want. And that's why they hate parameters and laws. But that doesn't change the fact that it's in place. It's a law. It was instituted by God. So you need to follow it. I don't care if you're a woman, a man. I love everybody, but I also love the fact that we have structure. I love the fact that there's, you know, boundaries boundaries, because if we didn't have those, you know, the heart of man is evil. Same as woman. Woman came from man. So 
when people don't have some sort of structure, some sort of way of living life and doing things, people think they could change their gender. People think they could push uh, puberty blockers and things on kids. They think they could kill everybody, steal whatever you want, rape whoever you want, do whatever you want. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's evil. Satan is driving a lot of these vehicles and we have to point out the sin when we see it. We have to get this country back. And that's why illegal aliens should not be allowed. And Tucker was just simply pointing out the fact that, hey, you're in that category. And if you want to get out of that category, if you want to flip the script and change up the, the narrative, then you got to go through the, the necessary means to do so. But since you've already overstayed your welcome, since you've already took advantage of the generosity that you that the United States provides, you probably gonna have some fines. You might go to jail, whatever it is. The, the government will decide that. But by no means do you overstaying your visa. Does that mean it's not illegal? It's illegal just because you don't agree with it doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> but I'm sure y'all got a lot to say about this one. Comment your thoughts below. Let's keep this conversation rolling. We could agree, disagree. We could still be civil and respectful. You could scroll to the next video. Don't, don't even have to give your input, but my comment section is always open. Don't forget to bang that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that bell so you get notified anytime I post a video, just in case YouTube doesn't let you know about it. Uh, definitely share this video. Get this out in front of other people. Allow them to think for themselves if you got some value or entertainment from this post. And if you want to support the channel, you get this faith over everything design made by my lovely wife over on her Etsy store, as well as many others that y'all see me wearing every day and you seem to love them. So you can find that down below. You can also join the Patreon family, buy me a coffee, donate on PayPal. You don't got to do any of that stuff at all. Just showing up. I'm grateful to have you here. Until next time, I love y'all. I'm praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.